Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today uh, we've got a Volkswagen Golf in, um, two, two rear shocks, both burst. Um, so I'm going to show you how we change it. Pretty straightforward. Uh, as you can see here, oil been leaking out the shock. Um, so to start with, we're just going to come round the back here. See there, we've got one bolt there, it's 21 mil. So we're going to get that one out first. Once you've got the bolt loose, you're just going to pop it away. You can twist the shock and remove the bolt. So once you've got your rear shock out, um, you're going to get these two torque screws out. Make sure when they're rusty and dirty like this, just uh, hammer them in first. Otherwise you'll round them off. Once you've got them covers, uh, them two screws out, you can pull the cover back and you can just see up here, you've got two 16mm bolts that hold the shock in. I'm just going to get them out now. So, once you get your shock off, you've got a cap on the end there, just need to pop that off. That reveals a 16mm nut. We need to remove that to set the top mount off.
get yourself a set of mold grips, get that on the actual shaft of the chop. Just take the top mount off and take your cover off as well. And uh, your bump stop foam. As you can see, this shop's completely knackered. We'll just grab the new one. see from the new one there, uh, give that a push down, that one comes straight back up, the other one still hasn't come back up yet. So all we're going to do is repeat the process in reverse. Try to put your cap back on, and then <clears throat> we're just going to refit this. I'm going to grab your bolts, just get them in loose by hand first. Where's them up with your ratchet? Next, you want to get your uh, torque screws back in. And we're going to go back round to the back, get our shock bolt back in. Sometimes it can be a bit awkward get this back bolt back in. Um, if you're working at home on the driveway, you can get a jack under here, just jack it up to the right right uh, height. In the garage, we've got a gearbox stand, so I'm just going to put that underneath, jack it up into place.
You always want to get the bolt started finger first. Make sure you're not cross threading anything. And get back on it with your spanner. Unfortunately, my 21mm ratchet spanner's broke, so I can't use it. Um, you can also, if you want to at home, take, take the arm off and the spring out of the way, drop them down, uh, you can get a gun on it then. But these bolts seize in the hub, so I would avoid doing that myself. That's why we do it the way that we do. That's everything all bolted back in. Um, need to put the wheels back on the car, but we can't do that just yet. I'll just show you there. This is what um, Pointer does to the rear shocks. So this is what Pointer does to check the rear shocks. As you can see on the tyre, it's quite worn on the inside edge. And on the other side, the tyre stepped and worn uneven. So they originally thought it was going to be a wheel bearing, but um, noise is coming from the tyre and the shockers that were knackered. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check us out in the next video.